It's an historic result for a leftist candidate in Colombia. But more than eight and a half million votes, former rebel fighter Gustavo Petro came clearly on top in the first round of the presidential elections. Running on the promise of profound economic and social change, Petro managed to get 40% of the vote, 10 percentage short of what he needed for an outright victory. There are changes that are empty, there are changes that don't lead to real change. We want to invite all of Colombian society to embrace real change. Yet his success was diminished by the surprise second place of Rodolfo Fernandez, a 77-year-old businessman who rose in the polls in the last two weeks as an unexpected anti-corruption crusader. Hernández, a former mayor of the city of Bucaramanga, managed to present himself as an alternative anti-establishment candidate, despite being investigated himself for a number of wrongdoings. He has been compared to a Colombian version of Trump, and in the past said he was an admirer of Adolf Hitler, yet his message connected with many frustrated Colombian voters in a campaign mostly conducted on social media. We see that citizens have the will to end corruption as a system of government. Today the country of cheap politics and corruption lost. The corrupt who thought they would govern forever lost. Federico Gutierrez, the defeated candidate backed by the traditional establishment, immediately endorsed Hernández for the runoff against what he calls the dangers of a Petro's presidency. Rodolfo Hernández is potentially Petro's worst nightmare in the second round of the elections. The Petro campaign was fairly confident that given a round with Federico Gutiérrez, Petro would have won. Given Gutiérrez's strong association with the right and with the political establishment. The whole situation changes now. Given his anti-establishment discourse, his origins outside of politics, he's most clearly an outsider. The main takeaway here is that these results represent first and foremost a stunning blow to Colombia's traditional conservative establishment. The question for Gustavo Petro, though, is that if he now will be able to convince enough people that voted for Rodolfo Hernández that he represents the true change that Colombia needs. Alessandro Rampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.